Hello and welcome back to the Surfer New Feature video series by Golden Software. Today we will be covering how to use the grid math or grid volume functions on grids with different grid geometry. Before Surfer 22 this was not possible and you would have to adjust the grid geometry of one or more of your files to match the extent and resolution of the others. Now with this latest Surfer update, this workflow is possible and can be applied by any geologist who is looking to determine the volume between two mismatched rock layers or by geophysicists who are looking to create a residual trend map for just a subsection of their map area. To perform this workflow, click Grids, Calculate Math, or Grids, Calculate Volume. Next, import both of your grids into the Grid Data dialog as usual. In the Align Grids Using dropdown, we will select the XY coordinates option. This new option allows us to perform functions on grids that do not have matching rows, columns, or spacing. After that, we will choose which grid to use for the master grid for geometry field. This field sets which coordinate system will be used in the final resulting grid, if your grid files use different systems, and also sets which grid to copy these geometry from for the final grid's extent and resolution. Finally, we can name the new grid choose a saving location and click finish to add the newly calculated grid as our chosen map type. And that is how you perform grid math on different sized grids in Surfer 22 and above. Stay tuned as we continue to release more videos highlighting Surfer's new features and for more information visit our website goldensoftware.com.